Hey everybody, Weem here and welcome to Subnautica. This is a game I picked up recently because it looked very interesting to me. It is a survival uh, open world underwater exploration game as they call it. It's a construction game, you're going to be building things. But uh, unlike many of the other ones we play of this genre, this one's going to take place entirely underwater which is a very different environment indeed now i've been playing a bit and gathering some materials so i've already got some things made but this video is really about giving you a quick look at the game so you guys have a concept of what's going on and whether it would interest you or not so the story is that we have crashed our spaceship here on this uh, water world of sorts and we simply have our escape pod so i'm going to jump inside and show you what's in there because it's kind of our base of operations from the beginning and this is our escape pod. You'll have to uh, ignore the uh, smoke here. Still working on some things. But uh, yeah, despite it being a little bit beat up, this is our base of operations. Very small, but this gives us access to the water. Uh, we can jump off the top, and uh, so that's <laughs> another way into the water. But we can hop down through the bottom and get right to gathering. But first I want to show you what we have in here. So basically we have some storage back here. I've also made two storage containers to have more uh, storage space. <laughs> and we have the fabricator. This is actually where you will craft things. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and show you this really quick. We've got some base resources you can make from some of the things you'll find just immediately in the water. Various rocks, corals, things like that. Sand, in fact. Uh, we'll make these base items and they will allow us to make equipment and tools. The next tab we have here is uh, food, which is primarily fish, of course. Pretty much any of the fish we can scoop up um, along with some salt and we can cook that. And that refills our food and our water. So that is that. We jump down here into equipment. There's some things I can make, pipes, flares, the other stuff we don't quite have materials for, but I've been making a bunch of stuff, so you get to see a lot of those, if not everything. And then we have various tools as well. I've got a constructor floating around just outside in the water. It's where it's a kind of a platform from which we can build a couple crafts and if you guys stick around to the end of the episode I've got the materials um, gathered that will allow me to make my first vehicle so that is gonna be pretty cool because I've not made that yet I haven't seen it yet so anyway let's go ahead and dive down into the water so you can see what that's all about okay this is our first view when we come in and it is a good one this game is a very pretty game and like I said we are getting this look at a whole new environment when it comes to sort of these survival games where we can do crafting those kind of things it's very different I'm used to doing things above <laughs> above the sea level a lot of depth here and like I said just a very good looking game now I have this guy I think it's called a sea glide this lets me go a lot faster and so basically we can run around here and scoop up some sand we can also go around, there's various rocks we can bust up. I've dumped a lot of materials down here, they don't really have, it's kind of a block for now. <laughs> that may change, but uh, I've been dumping stuff out every once in a while to, to make room. But basically in, in Subnautica we are going to be swimming around, gathering materials, crafting things, and just trying to survive. I'm going to kind of surface here and get some air. On the left you can see our meters. We've got 70 of 70 for oxygen. Below that we have health. Below that we have our hunger and our thirst. So we do have to manage those. If you die, uh, you do lose items. It, it seems like it might be random. I did have a time I died and it looked like I lost nothing, but it does seem to be that when I do die I'm going to lose at least an item or two. Uh, here's some flint right here in fact. So we could scoop that up. And so basically, this is what you're doing. You're coming down here, you're grabbing fish to eat. Um, we can try to catch up to one here. Oh, yeah, back. where'd you go? <laughs> ah, get back here. He just swam all over the place. There we go, we scooped him. We picked up an air sack, it says. Let's get some, speaking of air, let's grab some here. <laughs> So the game has some really cool elements to it right now. For example, the sea glide that I have now is pretty sweet, lets us get around very well. We do have this knife, which we can kind of fence some fish off with. It's also used to dig around in some rocks. We've got a stasis gun. This actually was added just recently. This one's very cool. There are some aggro uh, fish down here. And uh, the cool thing is we can charge this up, we can fire it, and it kind of sets up this field. And you can see this guy is stunned inside of there. 
So if we're trying to get down to some material or some metal, we can uh, get that and get away from the creatures trying to kill us. <laughs> Makes things a lot easier. You know what? I was taking you out to show you some air pipes that I made and I ran into this. And I have to say, I have actually not seen this guy before. So I'm kind of scared. Let's go ahead and get close as we should do when we're scared of a creature. Wow, look how big this thing is. I have not seen one of these guys. I might have seen the concept art for something like this. Yeah, I think so. Look at that. It's huge. Let's get in real close to this thing. I'm sure we're not bugging it, right? <laughs> very cool. One of the great things about this game. We've got some very alien creatures here on this world. And uh, lots to explore. Very cool. Okay, well, as it turns out, my pipes were gone. I'm not really sure what happened between uh, this save and my previous play, the previous time I was on here, but uh, essentially I had pipes down that brought oxygen from the surface down deep into the water, which is a pretty cool system because you can kind of stay down there and catch your air. You don't have to come all the way back up to the surface. Pretty cool thing. But I've actually come back here to make some fish really quick. We need to get some food. You can see the food and our water is not doing so great. So we just made the fish by combining the fish with salt. You can see how it's going to affect our food and our water. Plus 18 and plus 4 in this case. So we'll have both of these guys. Take that guy. We are dehydrated right now. And we can actually make a water. You can see disinfected water requires bleach. And in order to make bleach, we need calcium and salt. Uh, and I don't have any more salt right now. So water is going to be kind of a thing until we find some more. Let's actually dive down and see if we can find some real quick. Okay, so we are looking for basically some white cubes. They actually look more like sugar cubes than, than salt. It's just these small little cubes. And usually they're pretty easy to find. Now I did just find some and use them for the fish. I probably should have saved one. But that's okay. We'll go looking around a bit and see if we can find one. I usually find them along the edge of the uh, rocks around here or just sometimes out in the sand. Let's see if we can run across anything here. Here's some rocks we could bust up for different materials. Some flint there. Not really what we're looking for, though. Just hoping to find some really quick, actually. Uh, let's see. Let's see. I've already been around up there a bit. And as far as I can tell, this stuff respawns too. I think I found one of them right here, in fact. So, And that may look like a big salt cube, but it's not. <laughs> Let's grab some air here and go back down. I'm going to kind of skim along the edge here. Okay, so this is what we're talking about right here. We're going to pick up some salt. And I just saw, it looked like two more over in this direction. There we go. As you can see, they look more like sugar cubes. <laughs> Let's go ahead and scoop these up. Oops. And head back. Let's see, we get all turned around here. There's the big ship. There we go. So we're going to bring these back, make some water, and uh, try to hydrate ourselves here. Okay, back in the pod. Let's see. We're going to uh, need some... What do I need? Calcium. Yes. I have some of that. I do. <laughs> Um, nope, that's the wrong one. That's funny. I thought I had some on me, but I guess not. And it's probably... Yes, calcium. We're going to go ahead and grab a couple of these. Here's back here. And make the bleach. Probably make a few of these. Okay. Let me jump over to here. And there you can see we have disinfected water. All we need is bleach. We're going to make drinkable water straight from bleach. <laughs> that makes sense. So once we get these in here, let's see, we'll make one more. Just like we uh, do when we eat, we're just going to go ahead and left click on these. And I might as well do all of those. So we're in a lot better shape now as far as food and water goes. So one of the things that I wanted to show you as well, we're going to go ahead and click this and jump out of the escape pod. I'm going to show you the constructor. So the constructor is this little guy over here. We're going to actually jump in the water. You can actually pick this up and move it wherever you want it. It's a little finicky getting up on it. Sometimes I end up sinking it, but there we go. It was a pretty good 
first attempt. So we can select here. We've got a fish icon for now. <laughs> this will probably change. But we have the various vehicles. Now, coming in the very near future, they say in about two weeks, but it could be longer. The Cyclops is going to be a very big submarine. I'm super excited about this, you guys. It's going to have, like, room in it. From the, from the little bit that I've seen, it looks like it's going to have some areas where you can um, kind of develop the uh, interior of it a bit or do some things in there. Look like it's pretty cool. Maybe be able to move around through it. I'm not sure just how big it is going to be, but it looks like it could be pretty big. Um, we have an observatory we could make. This is actually something I haven't made, and so is the Seamoth. Actually, none of these I've made. Like I said, this one's not here yet, but I haven't made either of these. But I do have the materials for the Seamoth, the rugged submarine. So this is actually going to be the first vehicle I will have made. So we're going to get to that here in the very near future. I'm really excited about ch checking that out. Okay, well we have the sun setting here, but I wanted to take an opportunity to show you guys how the pipes work. Because unfortunately, like I said, the pipes disappeared on me. I don't know what happened. But I've gone ahead and made a couple more just to give you a quick idea for how these work. So I've got them down in my quick bar, number three, four, and five. Got three selected here. So we can go ahead and go right to the surface and just right click and that sets it up there. Blue is what we're looking for. If we place it and it's not getting oxygen, it actually remains white. Now if I've got a pipe ready and I point it, you'll see this green line. So pretty simple. We're just going to go ahead and move on down. And if we connect this up right there, you can see that has made a pipe. Now I would imagine they're going to probably change the way this looks. It's very rudimentary right now just these cylinders with spheres on the end but you can see the air bubbles coming out I've got 37 oxygen if I just tap this bubble you can see where it jumped us to 57 so I probably don't need to do another one of these but I'll go ahead and do one anyway you get the idea you could drag this all the way down into some deep trench and while you're down there gathering materials as you get notification that you're at the 50 percent mark or something you can just swim on over tap the bubble there and gain some more oxygen. thought it was a very cool addition and it's something that came actually in the last update I'm pretty sure. Okay well I can't wait any longer. I'm really excited about making my first vehicle so let's go ahead and get that underway. Now I've kind of set those materials aside. Was it here? No. Wait yes this is what I'm looking for. <laughs> you can see I've got some fins here but I ended up throwing those in here when I got the uh, sea glide because that got me around really well so let's see we want the seamoth fragment now some of the vehicles and some of the things that you put together actually have a specific fragment that you need to find they're not too hard to find usually down on down on the surface somewhere and it's kind of a at the moment anyway they're these kind of larger gray cubes you can see I even have a stasis rifle fragment even though I've already got a stasis rifle so these these guys uh, respawn which is cool so let's go ahead and grab what we need. We need the battery. I already had the glass set aside. Whoops, I think I grabbed another one of those. We need the copper, the glass, um, and we also needed the metal. Now this is going to be the hard part. Let's see, we just need one more. We really have to get rid of everything we don't need. We don't need the flint. Okay, so we've got... I'm going to actually get rid of the knife too. Um, we've got the three metal, three glass, copper, um, I have the fragment here. Whoops, did not mean to drop that, although I probably don't need it. <laughs> Doesn't want to let me pick that up. There we go. Try to get around the corner there. Okay, I just want to make sure I didn't drop anything that I absolutely needed. I think I have everything that I need right now, so let's go ahead and try this. Let's go jump out into the constructor. And we'll see if we've got it all. Try to land right on this thing. Nope. Get up there. Okay, cross our fingers here. Yep, look at that. So we can make the observatory if we wanted to, which I do want to check out. But I really want to check out the Seamoth. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, it's showing us all the materials it's going to use. And I assume that we have that in our inventory. Let's see here. We got the sea glide, the tank, stasis rifle. Um, oh, do we have to deploy that or something? Hmm. Oh, where are we? Oh, try to get on here. Nope. <laughs> Don't sink it. Okay. So we've made it. Do we have to? Huh. Let's see. That's this guy. Interesting. We may have to do something from inside. Oh, look! It spit it out over there. Ha <laughs> ha! Sea moth. 
Let's check this out. Did not know you were going to come all the way over here. Enter Seamoth. Let's do that. Okay, so we can aim this around. How fast does this go? Oh, yes. Yeah. I'm going to get used to this. <laughs> let's, let's go down here. I'm kind of curious if... Um, why is it shaky? I don't like shaky. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of curious if our uh, little unfriendly guys down here are going to bug us in this. They really like to hang out down here. I think I'm going to intentionally crash this really quick. Yeah, I want to bang it into something. Let's see. Okay, so it makes some noises. <laughs> Other than that, though, you can see we do have 97% health and energy. I'm actually kind of curious if we can then repair this. But um, Spacebar does move us up. That's cool. Kind of brings us towards the surface. And obviously, this goes pretty fast. Let's, let's check out the uh, large ship. I've actually not got too close to it. Can we surface here? Yes, we can. So I'm going to go over here and get an up-close look at the, uh, the mothership. Well, it turns out they were pretty clever about that. I want to get in here up close, but as you can see, if I get in here... There we go. Radiation detected. We start taking damage, so we're going to back out of that area. They obviously don't want us getting too close to the mothership there, so we're going to go ahead and spin this back around. You can see the blinking of our beacon. And we are actually going to run out of food and start taking more damage. So as much as I want to dive with this thing and really see how deep we can go, I'm going to try to rush us back. Because I'd hate to die and leave this out here. I'm not really sure what happens with it if we die in it. So we're going to rush back and try to get some food really quick. Well, we are back here at the pod, our escape pod. And uh, I'd like to jump back into the uh, Seamoth and take it around for a spin to the depths. So let's go check that out. Now obviously we did a little bit of that um, earlier, but just to try to find those aggro fish. And they didn't want to come out and play it seemed. I didn't see any. So what I'm going to do now is, if I can kind of spin this thing around, it's kind of like leaning to one to the left side. I don't know why. I don't think there's any kind of rotation for it. Let me try some arrows. No, not really. <laughs> not so much. I can hop out of it, but it's got this like tilt to it. I can't seem to resolve. But anyway, what I think we'll do is um, if I basically put a line between here, this is kind of how I've been judging things here, and I move away, away from my pod in this general direction. There's a pretty deep area that's out over here. This is where I was heading before uh, where I said that I had the pipes out there and we ran into that really large creature. So let's go out here and we'll just start diving down see what we can find here yeah this structure right here this kind of tall thing I had the pipes nearby so anyway this is the spot I was thinking of boy this thing really moves pretty quick we can get all the way down here and I have not been farther than this and it says depth 102 with a uh, in red so I don't know if that's um, <laughs> I don't know if that's really bad for us or for the ship what was that? I'm going to back this up a bit. What is going on? <laughs> so anyway, I think we may need to bring this up. Um, it doesn't seem to be doing anything. Uh, maybe the health dropped when we initially got here, but... Anyway, let's check this out. I wonder if I have... No. I thought I would try the L key to see if there's a light. Oh, is this another one of those creatures? There you go. Only this time we've got our cool ship. I think, I think I'm running into something or some kind of creature is doing something to us. <laughs> this is all new area for me, so I'm not super familiar with a lot of this stuff just yet. But anyway, I think this is a cool place to jump out. I know this is very short, but I just wanted to give you guys a quick look at Subnautica so you guys could see what it was all about and um, kind of share with you the things that I'm really enjoying about it so far. So anyway, uh, if you enjoyed this, please do give it a like. I would appreciate that. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about the game. If this is something you would be interested in seeing more, I would be in interested in seeing more of, I should say. <laughs> I would certainly be interested in knowing that because I could do a longer series on this later, maybe as they add more content. Right now it took me, I played about 70 minutes and I had made most uh, items in the game. Uh, the vehicles being the only exception, and we've got one of those here now. 
So anyway, they've got some updates coming, like I said, when they've got the new submarine in. I'm definitely going to want to check that out. I think at the very least I'll do a video covering that if I can get one put together. But uh, as this game progresses, I'm definitely going to be following it and uh, playing it some more. So again, if you guys would like to see more of this uh, down the road, please do let me know. Otherwise, I think we'll leave it at that. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. I have a feeling we're not supposed to be down here. Something tells me that we shouldn't be here. But that's okay. We're gonna do it anyway. Let's see what's through here. This is creepy. Little caves. Oh, here we go. We can go down. I'm just gonna follow these around a bit. We're probably not gonna make it out of here alive, but that's okay. I'm okay with that. <laughs> There's our beacon at least. I'd love for these cameras in the bottom to actually kind of be some of the surrounding stuff. Like maybe the camera on the left and right, or the screens rather, where camera is like directly to your left and directly to your right. That might be kind of cool. So you could fly next to a wall that's next, you know, on your right side like so. And be able to see on your screen what it looks like. That would be pretty sweet. This is really cool. I love the element of exploration in this game. Oh, that's probably not good. <laughs> I think that would have messed us up if we were uh, not in this thing. In fact, I'm kind of curious if it's going to mess the ship up. Let's fly over this. Oh, look at that. It doesn't affect the ship at all. That's really cool. Let's keep following these tunnels. But yeah, the sense of exploration in this game is really cool. I've never been down this deep, never been in this area before. Wouldn't have been possible without this guy. And the music had this popping sound you can hear, and I thought my ship was breaking up. <laughs> We're going to run out of energy, though, I would imagine. Let me stick down here for too long. Let's see. I'm so curious how far these go. I'm getting slightly deeper. I'd love to see another spaceship down here somewhere. That would be awesome. I don't know how I haven't bumped into the walls more often yet. I'm very I'm just kind of doing this haphazardly. Oh, look at that. Very cool. Let's bump it. <laughs> crunch. Wow, that is super cool. I really want to get out, but I have a feeling I would die instantly. I, I, have, I imagine that's what the death meter is indicating, that we couldn't handle it right now. Look at this stuff. Whoa! This guy just suddenly appeared there. Okay. Let's see, is this... Yeah, we are definitely ascending. Very cool. Oh, scraping the sides there. <laughs> We're getting hungry. Anyway, I think now we'll go ahead and uh, jump out for real. Thanks again for watching, everybody. I appreciate it, and we'll catch you next time.